welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Tom, can you show me how those big tits fart? How the deep big tits fart? Yeah. Big tits and fart, Tommy. <laughs> you can't, can't, can you make them? Fart? Yeah. These are tits. <laughs> what are you talking about? People want to know if you can show them how those big tits fart. Do you want to fart? Do you really want to fart? Can you fart, fart, fart? Fart! <laughs> Okay, let's get to it. Are we talking real fast? But it's hard, hard, hard. Are we talking real fast? But it's hard, hard, hard. Who is this fart? Are we talking real fast? But it's hard, hard, hard. Are we talking real fast? But it's hard, hard, hard. Who is this fart? Wow. Wow. Oh, that that's was your really mom. Wow. That's my mom. That was really good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so impressive. Yeah, that was uh, Mama Titty Farts <laughs> by AKA Bad Friend. It's really good. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Very good job. I'm very impressed with your mother's flow. Yeah. She's a, she's a natural, you know? She can She's really a big do naturals. Yeah. <laughs> she does have those big naturals. I'm so, I find it um, so funny that your dad still feels gypped by the bra that fits her like that we so it's such an insight into really how his mind works yeah like if the cup runneth over uh, that's good but then yeah. her cup fits now and, and he's like no give me this those spillage the spillage of the tits i want to see those tits he likes the jiggle yeah he did he now he doesn't have he jiggle. did though he did provide some interesting insight <laughs> into why he thinks uh, like that if you paid attention there in that conversation he said you know, when I was growing up, when we go to the movies, there's no such thing as nudity or bikinis. It was just the the thing was, a, you know, an open shirt on a woman and some cleavage. So it's yeah. like your your mind. It's funny, like anything. It's all involved in involved in like your childhood. Yeah, your wires are connected. Everything in puberty, and then for the rest of your life, that's what turns you on. And 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 for and it yeah. goes for everything, like everything yeah. that's like that. A, upsets you there's probably some tie to childhood you know yes well i was listening to shirley manson and joe rogan talk about how um when in, in your adolescence is actually Marilyn, but yeah no it's shirley manson Marilyn. when you uh develop your musical tastes in adolescence yeah and because that's like a formative time for you that's why you tend to like the same music that you started in I high school I'm absolutely the same way <laughs> I don't like anything past 1994. Yeah. I, I'm, maybe like the strokes. Yeah, or, or like you find this or that that you enjoy, yeah. but basically yeah. you like this era. I was just listening to goth music that I liked when I was 14 in the kitchen before uh -huh. we did this. And it's still it's still my jam. It's still, still my mom jam. Oh my God. <laughs> so embarrassing. What's wrong with the, is it the phrase my jam? Yeah, of course. It's, but that's cool. I thought it's, it's a cool word. It's not cool. It's well, not what am cool. I supposed to say? Like I don't know. Anything That's else. my song. Uh, it's my band. Uh, there you go. It's yeah. my jam. It's my jam. <laughs> it's my jam. I'm so I have so many things to share because I went to Momver to Denimver yeah. with my BFF Shauna and I did a lot of I did a lot of big girl things. You sure did. I smoked pot for the first time in like two and a half Jeez. years. Jeez. And when I say that, I mean I took one tiny little hit. Yeah. <laughs> But it affected you, right? Yeah, and we got crazy. We watched the Twilight movie. You saw the you first went on one. A vision Quest. Oh, a vision. We did, yeah. Were you Team Edward, Team Jacob? I'm. I used to be Team Edward, and then I go to Jacob, and then I go back. What? Yeah. I said Jacob, and you said absolutely not Team Edward forever. Well, I don't like that Edward abandons her at some point in the movies. Like he kind of he just neglects her. I don't Motherfuckers like that. got to eat, man. <laughs> That's not why he leaves her. Yeah, he does. Pussy eating. Right? Oh, you think he went to go find other box, other human beavers? Yeah. No, he's chased. He's not. It's all. It's a Christian. I don't know thing. anything about the whole. You gotta watch with anything. me. There's like ten movies. We can nah. really get into it. Nah, <laughs> I'm good. It's not for dudes. It's I like Harry Potter movies. Those are. I'll amaze. admit that. I like that a lot. Who's your favorite character? I don't know. I like. I like. I just. I. I'm fascinated by it. We got into it a couple Christmases ago. Yeah. And you watch that first one, you're like, that's cute. But then as the as the stories progress, it actually is just well, first of all, it's 
amazing filmmaking, right? So yeah. it's a, you know they they really kill it as far as that goes, and then the stories get better, and you just get invested in it. I mean, it's I, a I real actually saga. really like it. Yeah, and it's a it's a wonderful hero's journey, and I like Professor Snape. He his teeth remind me of yours, just the bottom row that he didn't have done. Uh, yeah. yeah, God, he's what's so. What's his name? Professor Snape. No, what's the reactor's name? The Snapey. He's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he was a, such an amazing actor. Harry I could watch Potter. him. I could really watch him act in anything. I know. It's bothering Harry. me now that I forgot his name. Is that Potter? Is that Iron? No. Potter. He was so disdainful of the children, which yeah. really I liked a lot. And he's super gothy and witchy. I like yeah. that. I liked uh, the original Dumbledore was was amazing. The second Dumbledore, you're like mm. Alan Rickman. That's his name. That was his name. Yeah. God, he's a good actor. He's dead. I know he died like last year. Pretty young to be to to die. When did he die? How old? Uh, Alan Rickman was oh like sixty, right? Like not yeah, even. Yeah, he, he was. Dude. He wasn't old at all. I mean, what did he die of? He died. Sixty nine. Come on, dude. That's not even old, yeah. bro. Pancreatic cancer, though. Ugh, that's a nasty one. <sighs> Fuck. Poor son of a bitch. It sucks, dude. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. S- such amazing, you know, <laughs> voice control. Right. The way that he would deliver a line. And come control. Mm. Like he would come so hard around those no, kids, and they d- never knew it. We're talking about something nice right now. Why would you do that? You're ruining this moment. <laughs> God. It's really terrible that you would do that. It's disrespectful. Remember those shrieking mandrakes? That's almost my favorite. <laughs> you have all those holes filled? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Which Harry Potter movie is this one from? Third. Right, where Hermione hits puberty and they yeah. all do a train on her. This is it. This is neat when Ron and Harry bang Hermione. This is how she goes from teenager to adult. Right, this is her graduation into being a witch. It's a big ceremony. Yeah. And then the lady from Downton Abbey. <laughs> Miss McGar- Miss McGarnagall? She comes in and she blesses the whole room. She, yeah. Oh, this is her graduation ceremony yeah. part. I remember this. is Hermione drinks a special potion. That- there, and then they're like, now you're a witch. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. There you go. It's a very special moment. Um, <laughs> we need to be reviewing all the movies. I feel like we could do a better job than that Siskel and Ebert. Yeah, I think Those so, too. Those two fags. <laughs> Oops, I'm not supposed to say that word anymore. <laughs> I know you can't help yourself. Um, all right, let's get into it. Ready? God. Let's get into it. Is it Siskel and Roper? I don't know what it Roper is. Roper and Ebert? Yeah, there's a couple there's are dead. Too I don't, many. I don't, actually, two are dead. Wow. Remember when he had well, the original cancer? two guys are dead. Yeah. What's the original? Siskel and Roper. No, Siskel and Ebert. Siskel and Ebert. Well, then Siskel died. <laughs> then Ebert uh, got sick. <laughs> And he was all like that because he had like his jaw removed <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> that was, you made, now that's your horrible, I may have said F-A-G just now, but. You don't have to spell it, you can say it. F-A-G. And then you used to make fun of his mouth cancer because we I saw a documentary. I didn't make fun of, the, of his mouth cancer. Oh my cancer. God, you did for years. I didn't make fun of that he had cancer. I I made light of the fact that I wouldn't have photographed him <laughs> because it wasn't a good look. It's not, it's, you shouldn't be on television. Yeah, when you when your face is that messed up. Yeah, or like when you're really old, They're sick. Yeah, when you're when you're dying, it's yeah. like I don't know why these. They, you know who I think had a, had a pretty good uh, system for it was uh, Johnny Carson. Hmm. When he retired, you never saw a picture of him again, if unless like someone hunted him down. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so he got he got old and died. You never knew what he looked like. Yeah, and you that's see these better. guys now that are like, you know, either sick. Or super old. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got to be like, in the spotlight. God. It's so narcissistic. Uh, it is it, narcissistic. It is. It's narcissism. Richard Simmons is kind of ducking out, and I, I think people aren't letting him. They're not letting him. But mm-hmm. then there was there was a uh, there was um, rumors that somebody was you know taking advantage of him and all that. Yeah, that the housekeeper had kidnapped him or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But Simmons has the right idea because he's aging and he just, you know, everyone wants to remember him as that fitness guy in the dolphin shorts. Yeah. You don't want to think of him as old. Zsa Zsa Gabor, too, she kind of faded out. Let's, she, let's, she uh, let's open oh, the I'm show. S- I'm really just so excited to be I know, here. There's a lot, lot to cover. We'll go over it all. Uh, here we go. If I was a racist, I'd call all you Arabs camel jockeys. <laughs> Who is Randy? 
Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Is nice. Yeah, this is a. I guess a, he's some type of Jesus protester oh, or boy. something. Yeah, mm-hmm. it looks like he's on a college campus. That's what I understand. I like that guy this. giving him the finger. Right. There. Oh yeah, <laughs> nobody likes him. That's really? For sure. There's so much going on. This is a, a Jesus protester. He goes to the campus basically to provoke people. You That's know, it's fun. Yeah. Now back to Harry Potter for a moment. Sure. Don't you feel like Hermione? Mm-hmm. And Harry would have been a better couple than Ron Weasley and Hermione. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Hermione is like up here. She's intelligent. She's hot. And then Ron's they almost, kind of a loser. Yeah, but didn't they? They couldn't. I mean, who did? Uh, who did? Uh, I mean, I like Ron. Don't get me wrong. I, but I eventually, like him. in in the final one, who do they show Harry with? Right, he's like an adult, and he's with uh, the Asian lady. He had an Asian girlfriend. No, no, but. In the final one, they do like a flash forward where he's an adult and he has kids, remember? Right. He's, he's with- Ginny Weasley. Ginny. Yeah. So he and Ginny, the Weasleys, you know, that that family, then they hook up. She's younger than him. So that's why they don't really hook up because there's, no oh. there's no grass on her field yet. But then once the grass grows green- Then they're dead. right back to it, right here. <laughs> that's the final movie. This is the last scene. <laughs> and then- there's a, you know, there's a whole new series oh. coming. Shut up. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Mm. Are there horcruxes? There's a new, there's a new You're series. You're messing with me. No. What's the show? What is it? I forget. I mean, uh, I'll is tell it eight? The Son of HP? I don't. Let me let me see. I'll, now I'll I like Ron Weasley. Don't get me wrong. He's he's charming. He's sweet. He's vulnerable. But I just feel like Hermione's such a winner, and yeah. Ron's kind of like meh. Yeah. Like kind of not a winner like Harry. Yeah. You know, I feel like Harry and Hermione are equals. Um, Jenny's cool. She's all right, but. Let's see what the new series know. is called. She's working on two new novels. Good. Uh, the Native JK. American wizarding community was particularly gifted in <laughs> animal and plant magic. I thought you were joking. No, I'm serious. She's she's doing a whole new series, man. Native American stuff. The writing is in, in full depth. Uh, what appetites fan the memorable release of Harry Potter's spinoff films, right? Cool. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, so, yeah, there's movies coming. There's new series coming. She's doing a bunch of shit. Now, it's a Native American theme. Does that mean we're going to see a lot of dream catchers? You know I don't like that aesthetic, that Southwestern know. aesthetic. Uh, Are we going to see a lot of bolo ties? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Know. I hope not. I hate bolo ties. <laughs> I let a queso. That's enough for me to turn off a movie. Me too. Yeah. I hate. I hate. And if dream I meet catchers. somebody and they're wearing one, I hate it. It's not going to be a long conversation. And also on her, on a Twilight. Yeah. Jacob gives her a dream catcher for her bed, and I, I. That's immediately when I was like, no, Team Edward. What? That's when you switched. That's the first time yeah, I felt I the inclination. You. I can't blame you. I don't like those. They're ugly. Yeah. They're stupid. I said. If I Racist. I call all you white people crackers. You don't give a fuck what you call me. If I was, if I was a racist, I call all you Mexican spicks. Is this your stand-up act? Is this your new hour? This feels like my hour right yeah, now. Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting. You fucking spick. <laughs> <laughs> that um, there's by the way a big, a huh. big week. Uh, for big words. A big I week. know. I yeah. got some tweets. People are like, "Are you doing Bill Maher's thing? Is are you Bill Maher?" <laughs> like, I would just drop that willy nilly. Uh, I do not. No, <laughs> no. But he. The problem with how he said it is that he did it like, like he was a black comic and yeah. he had the right to say that. Yeah, he did. He did it. Yeah. But it also, a little bit, um, a little bit of delivering. 
a, a joke like that is you do kind of if you're going to say it, you got to kind of really go for it. Did he not go for it? No, no, no. I'm saying like he he that's how you deliver. If you're going to if you're going to say that line the way he did it, you yeah. can't half ass it. We'll tell people what the, the bit is for those who here. don't know. Here it is. Here. Now, I'm not going to say it anymore. <laughs> you're welcome. We'd love to have you work in the fields with us. <laughs> work in the fields. That's part of that. That's <laughs> Senator, I'm a house nigger. <laughs> no, it's, it's a show. He did say, gah, not gur. And he goes, it's a joke. But it is like, it's bold. I mean, I, look, it's not the craziest thing no, I've I, ever I heard. Kinda, I kind of liked it, actually, when I saw it. I go, oh, I... I get it. Like he's like, work in the fields. I'm not, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you, oh, you, I'm not gonna <laughs> say it. You're not gonna get me to Bill Maher myself. Um, I'm not. I mean, I'm never offended. No, of course obviously. it doesn't offend. But I, under, I mean, I understand when people get upset. It's funny. I feel like a lot of comics, black comics, not offended. No, I cannot see. Like I heard no one bring it up. I was at the store <laughs> after this. No one brought it. No up. one gives a shit. No. It's white people that are generally outraged. No, I saw a lot of black people outraged, but not black comedians. No, oh, right, not the like, comics. Black comics don't go like, I cannot believe. They're like, he's a comic. He just went for it. You know what's so funny? When I was working on that TBS show with Marlon Wayans and a lot yeah. of uh, black comedians, and that guy came out, the owner of the, was it the Lakers at the time? Yeah, No, no, the Clippers, yeah. The Clippers, yeah, yeah. and his girl had, was seen with a black guy, and... He called them and he used the N word basically. Is that what it happened? Or she taped him saying that was uh, the Donald N-word. Sterling. Sterling, that's and right. She recorded him saying like, you know, I don't like you being. Don't bring black people to the arena. <laughs> right. And like, you know, yeah. it didn't. I mean, he was pretty overtly racist about a lot of stuff. Yes. He was like, I don't even care if you fuck other guys. Just don't bring them to the fucking game. The black guys to the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so that happened, and I was, <laughs> I, I was, want them seeing that, which is crazy. So, I was working with a bunch of black people at the time on that black yeah. comedians at the time. Not one of them were offended. They're like, oh yeah, that that's just normal. Like white people are racist. They were yeah. offended at the fact that she ratted yeah. him out. Yeah, yeah. That she had snitched on him, yeah. which I thought was really funny. I'm like, you guys aren't even phased by that. They're like, nah, white yeah. people are just racist. That's a given. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I mean, a lot of people think uh, like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying I don't that know. that white people are super racist. Yeah, I uh, think every you know whatever. Know. They really caused a shitstorm. There was that Bill Maher's thing. Yeah, yeah. He, people but you know, are really fired up about it. I just don't. I, he's not my favorite personally. Like, yeah. I'm not a huge fan. I think people also, you know, what they get more upset about than him saying it is when people assume, like they there's they think. That he has given himself a pass. In other words, that he has the card, you know, like the hall card to to, to say, say what, what he, he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it and it's it's that point of view is further uh, blown up by the fact that he publicly dates black women. So he's always oh, like, he's with right. black. So there, I think there's part of it. Um, like the sentiment of like, do you think just because you have sex with a lot of black women that that gives you that liberty? Like you're still not, you know, granted the freedom to say what you want. That's what I think mm-hmm. a lot of people can get up, which I 100% agree that point of view of being like, you're not in the group, you know Yeah, that, you right? can't. And even even like we can't, I, I always feel like I can't even speak on this topic because I'm yeah, well, not that's the black. First thing, it's like, you don't know what that feels like. That's the first thing yeah. that somebody would say, breaking this down, oh, two white people are... are <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, which, you know, I understand that too. But yeah. I, I still feel like, you know, it's in the it's also in the realm of comedy. So we have... Uh, some rights. Well, to, I mean, we can... We can talk about whatever we want. Talk about talk some shit. We can talk shit if we want. No, I look as a comedian. I always think it's uh, freedom of speech. I yeah. don't give a shit. Say which. There's so many things I've heard in comedy. Sometimes by my favorite comedians who say sexist jokes or everything. That doesn't stop me from liking them. You just go, okay, that's not you know, hey, that's not for me. I that think comedians me. always view care. this kind of stuff differently. Yeah. Like whenever somebody says a joke and they get in trouble, you're still like, okay, <laughs> because we've heard. So many worse things and so many versions of that already. Yeah. Like, it's not like I've never hung out in a group and somebody has made a joke like Bill made. Nobody is just, no one gets worked up about it. Nobody gets worked up. But that's because the understanding is 
we all like each other. We're all friends. We're all in it. You know what I yeah, There's no also, malice. And also, like, if you're going for the laugh, like, I mean, people say awful things going for the laugh. Yeah. I mean, we, I was just hanging out with somebody, and they made, they were telling me about lunch with a friend where another friend had died. Mm -hmm. And the friend that died was very close to one of the people at the lunch. Mm -hmm. And the person told me about how they made a joke about, like, a joke about how somebody at the lunch was responsible for their friend's death, <laughs> which is like a, it's a harsh joke. Yeah. But, you know, the guy went with it because he's a comic and realized that the comment was made to go for a joke. You yeah. Know, you know what I mean? Like, yes, yes, yes. That's any, a thing. Anybody the else would have been like, Jesus. Yeah. Like, that guy just died. Well, but... the, the intent is always with comedians to make people laugh. Yeah. And just know that the intent is always for that end, for joy, at the end yeah. of the day. So they may misstep, you may offend too many people. Yeah. Here's what I think. Number one, if it's funny, then it's a success. Yeah. If the audience doesn't laugh, you've gone too far. And yeah. that's how you know. Society right now in this time and space, they're not into what you're doing. Yeah. You can't say that right now. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. it. That, that, now, let's go to another one, which is Kathy Griffin, Yeah. who I love. I think she's funny. I think she's had a great career. She's fantastic. I think had that Trump thing been funny, yeah, it would be a different story. And I think right. if she went too serious and it was like an arty statement versus like, let's make this shit funny. Yeah. Imagine if it were funny, it would have been like a home run. Yeah. And, you know, that's the only thing I think. She, and, you know, I'll, t I'll say it openly. Like I have disdain for Trump. I think he's a fucking embarrassment <laughs> and a buffoon. Yeah. I can't stand him. Yeah. At all. And I don't think it's OK. I don't think it's OK to do that to a sitting president because you can't pick and choose uh, based on your preferences when it's okay like to do that to make that gesture it's not that i'm personally outraged yeah, yeah it's yeah. just that like you have to you have respect for the office of president yeah and if you are doing like decapitation um portrayals of uh, a sitting president you it's it's not okay to do. I don't I don't feel like you. You feel like it's more of a threat. It's like a it's like I don't it's think, like a death threat. Kind uh, yeah, of. Sorry, I, I mean, and not to a degree. I I just feel like it's in such poor taste to do that, regardless of whether or not you ag agree or disagree with right, your right. president, their point of views. And and by the way, I thought it was, I, I was, it was grossly done when Obama was president. There was all these I saw you know, noose linchpin yes. things and they'd have yeah. little effigies and and I thought that was... Well, Ted Nugent's been hanging presidents in effigy for I, how I, many it's years? It's just, it's gross to do. I don't think you should do it. Um, I, like I said, it's not that I'm personally worked up about it. Right. I just feel like you have to have some standard of how you treat uh, a sitting president. You can say what you want about them, obviously not threatening them. I feel like you can rip them apart however you feel about how stupid they are and how they're completely you know out of like just not at all uh, um capable of of their job and that how every decision they make is is absolutely insane and an embarrassment and how you don't think they'll make it even through it uh, anything you want to say about it but when you start like decapitating them <laughs> and showing <laughs> right just, right right it's just it, it's so it's beyond classless it's it's just it's it's so disrespectful to do to the head of state i don't right. think you should do it i just don't think interesting you do it. interesting i i tend to differ with you and only because i'm, I'm just going free association here yeah. when communism fell um a big symbol of that was uh taking down the statues and beheading the statues, yeah. taking down the symbolism of the oppressor of the thing you don't agree with. So I don't know with Kathy. But it's I, also a statue is usually of a former person. Right, right. It's already, the power has already been usurped or maybe yeah. it's a revolutionary thing where you, you're you about to overthrow yeah. the power structure and that's like a symbol if of If you have a fucking decapitated Reagan head, oh, it's different. Great. Yeah. Because you're saying like, whatever, okay, I hate him. He's also dead. He's gone. You know. But if you have the current sitting president and you're decapitating him, I don't really feel like that's. I don't know. I don't think. I get. I get that you're sending a message and it's a. It's a strong one. But um, I think you have to have some level of respect for uh, 
someone for, who's, for who's in power president. at the moment. Yeah, yeah I'm, we're, we may just have to agree to disagree on I'm this like, one, Segura. I, I don't think you have to. <laughs> you're with. You shouldn't not be able to say crazy shit. About yeah, you just them. think this. The imagery is is not respectful. Well, that lends itself to more things like that, and that, that's one of the reasons why I think it's like it's 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 a little crazy. Now, if you start. Decapitating a president in in obviously artistically, right? Smearing blood all over, and then that fires up people who agree with that sentiment. Then it just lends itself to a. I mean, I. It just can make that type of action more acceptable. And right. Then you have like you're inciting violence in a sense. In you're a very inciting. Yeah, you're you're inciting art to hate crime or whatever. to to. To go along those lines, I don't know. I, I, but I okay. What about just disrespect? Now I like the ones. Uh, remember that artist who had him with a tiny peener that was naked. Fantastic. See, and that's the thing is that if it's disrespectful, it's funny. But if it's violence, I, yes. then maybe that's. I the don't line. think you shouldn't be able to disrespect the president. So do you not like the naked tiny peener? I love that one. Oh well, that's disrespect. I'm saying I don't feel like you shouldn't be allowed to disrespect them. I feel like oh, when you have violence. like like really extreme violent depictions yeah. of your sitting president. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Fair know if enough. that's that's I don't think that really helps. Fair enough. Well, she certainly got the uh backlash for it. By the way, I the backlash that I thought would come from the decapitated thing would be things like what I'm saying like, "Hey, I think that's pretty crazy that you're decapitating our president." Right. You know, as much as I'm not a fan, I think that's pretty crazy. I didn't think she would have to do a press conference and that she was openly weeping in the well, press conference. Well, okay, just so you know, I, I'm a little familiar with how Kathy's dealt with things in the past. Yeah. She tends to be very dramatic. Yeah. I will say that because I remember when she lost, she took over Joan Rivers' show when Joan yeah. River passed, Joan Rivers passed, and, you know, she got fired from that show or quit or something, and, yeah. and she made it a big, she so went maybe on just, stern, and yeah. she was effusive right. and emotional. So, so she's basically fueling it yes. to, to get the press out of yes, it. Yes, and I think, and right. let's be honest, that Kathy's a very a, a provocative comedian. She likes to talk some shit. She likes yeah. to throw shade. That's her whole thing. And I think with the Trump thing, she was looking for a little, like, ooh, this is going to zing. Yeah, this is going to yeah. cause a buzz. Yeah. And I think it was a little too much buzz you know what i'm saying yeah the blowback but again if it were funny i just if, then i feel like it would have been a hit i know and, I, and it'd be so much like, better when i you know that i guess i kind of missed part of it like i saw the image i didn't blink of it when i saw yeah, it i didn't give a shit it, yeah personally. i just saw I like, like nah, oh okay. she hates him like so yeah, many people do i get it <laughs> who cares i mean like i really was just like i don't care then there was like oh do you hear kathy, kathy griffin's in trouble and i was like oh okay and then when I saw that like there's gonna be an apology, I was like, nah. Oh, but I get I get that that you I don't think you should have uh, violence encouraged to sitting heads of state. I don't think it's a good idea. There, there you go. Yeah. Well, I you know I feel bad for her. I I like her and I I hope that this kind of smooths out. I don't you know what well, she's a fucking comic, dude. I know. I mean, let it let it let, let her have a gig. She'll she'll do, she'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, She'll be fine. What's the law? She doesn't get to host fucking New Year's Eve or that's, whatever that's with what Anderson. Yeah, they well, big shit. That. She's yeah. got many other jobs. She'll she'll be fine. Do you want to host that? No, I'd rather blow my brains out. Really? Wouldn't you? Can you think of anything? First of all, they have to say nothing for five hours. Like, well, this sure does look like a full house tonight, Anderson. Right behind me, you'll see the ball. And you're like, what are you fucking talking about for five hours? I blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. Coming up next, One Direction's going to sing their hit song. Like, oh, my God. Uh, it's a terrible thing. I would fucking kill. I'd rather talk about these she guys. She tours, like, endlessly, man. She tours constantly. She's uh, publishing books. That's somebody, she's very successful. Let's check this out she doesn't right now. need that fucking. She'll, she's fine. I know. Somebody she's was like. Huge following. You know, her career's over, career's no, over. It's not. And I was like, why? Because none of her fans would stop buying tickets to her they shows. Love her. She's beloved. She, the gay community loves Kathy Griffin. She, she's doing theaters. Well, that's what she's I know. She's fine. She's doing great. Okay, so right now there are no tour dates. Well, she canceled them. She did? She did. When this happened, Oh, she, because of death threats and everything? Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a little heavy for her right now, so she canceled them. Yeah. But she's doing, she's doing fine. She's yeah. really successful. Yeah, but none of them Come would on. stop buying tickets. Of course. The, the fans probably like her more. Of course. Because they're, you know, they're probably anti-Trump as well. It's fantastic. She, but yeah, she's she fine. was, I mean, I guess, who knows if these are still, because these are, some of these are ways away. 
Community Arts Center, St. George Theater in New York. Theater. Like, yeah. The, she's doing fine. She's doing fine. Uh, no, no, no. Right. I, you know. Let's, uh, let's, let's lighten it up. If I was a racist, <laughs> I'd call all you Arabs camel jockeys. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I like that he goes, I wouldn't do that. If I, St. John, was a racist, I'd call all you African Americans. Don't you dare. And then he goes, I would never do I that. Would never. How come I he... I would never do that as I'm doing that. What's with the gay rainbow flag I on don't the know. skull? What's that he's all like, about? He's, you know, it's funny. He's a he's a, uh, a college-level Kathy Griffin, though. He's just like, <laughs> oh, he's no. a provocateur, though. He's just doing that to you. get a reaction. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't do that. She's got the jokes, though. She's funny. No, I know, but it's, yeah. it is to incite a reaction. That's, that's all he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that people get mad at that that guy. Like yeah. he's just a fucking subway act. You know what I mean? Like yeah, some lunatic in a fucking car. And he's going to where they like they didn't come see him. He just went to like the <laughs> right. student union outside. They're, and he they're was not like, paying thirty dollars a ticket no. for that shit. Fuck no, fucking man. Fucking dummy. Big fucking can, dummy. Can I tell you what I discovered? You know how you and I talk about how we suffer for years before we yeah. make slight, like we would use one phone charger in the house versus just buy like five. Yeah. <laughs> so for 40 years, I've been wearing shoes without socks. Yeah. And I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. My feet are very sweaty and I fucking ruin shoes and my feet are sweaty all day and I just hate, hate, hate it. So I was like, didn't I talk to you about that? I don't know. I was like, wait, do people, like, do you wear socks and slip on shoes? And you go, yeah, you can buy invisible socks. Yeah, they're like barely cover your foot. Yeah. Did you just buy them? I just bought them on Amazon using our banner, your mom's house podcast.com. Yeah. Click on the banner at the top of the homepage. And, um, it's changed my whole life. Amazing. And now I, I, I'm so much happier about it. My feet don't sweat all day. Yeah. <laughs> it only took 40 years to figure out that that's what people have been doing. You, I mean, <laughs> you've seen me with little ankle socks so many times. And then, but you know what I think in my what? fucked up Eastern black brain? What? Those are not for me. Oh, right. Those are what fancy people have. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Brains do that. Your brain will do that to you. Yeah. I don't deserve ankle socks. What are you, bougie? I went to that chiropractor. <laughs> the human mechanic. Yeah. And I've noticed that like I'm getting a slight hump at the top <laughs> of my back. And I was just like, well, <laughs> that'll just be there. <laughs> it's like one of the first thing he said. He's like, oh, yeah, I can get that out of you. Just yeah. gotta make a couple adjustments. Isn't that amazing? It's already better. It's already better. But yeah. that we just accept the bad For thing. Years, For years. I was like, oh, that'll just, that'll hurt and look bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so stupid. My uh, the tooth that I just the crown I just got replaced. That thing hurt me for like five years. Yeah, five years. I would have to floss around it. It would hurt every time I ate something that would get food would get caught in it. And I was like, well, guess I have to suffer. It's expensive to replace a crown. I can't I do that. Just let your teeth hurt. <laughs> Mouth hurt a lot. <laughs> um, let's tell them right now. It's I mean, this is so bad. This is a fucking big month. Big month. Big words. Yeah. You're, uh, you only have a couple weeks left. I'm so pumped. First of all, I want to thank everybody that came out to Denver at Comedy Works. Uh, big shout out to the mommies who work at the Comedy Works. Apparently, they're huge fans of the show, and they played Mom's House music all weekend, and it was such a thrill. And thank you to all the mommies who came out. It was truly a wonderful weekend. So coming up, I've only got... June 16th and 17th at the Punchline in Manfran Disco to run my hour before I tape it. Oh, I do one more show at the YooHoo Room at Flippers Comedy Club in Burbank, June 22nd. June 24th is the big day. You can put your name on a list and they will contact you and you will get tickets to my tapings June 24th in Seattle at the Showbox Theater. Go to thousandranch.com, click on the link there, put your info in, and they will contact you. Like I said, there's two shows, 7 and 9.30, and I'm really stoked, you guys. I'm like, I'm fucking ready to do this. Double barrels. Tommy's going to come with me and support I am. me. I'll be up there. You're going to massage me and keep me calm? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be in a fucking frenzy that day. I'm really stoked <sighs> about it. I'm so happy for you. Um, so it's without you, Gene, I would be nothing. Please. It's because of you. Please. You're my Gene. I have a huge announcement. 
You're non-binary? I'm non-binary. I'm poly. <laughs> um, this Friday, the 9th, not only am I doing a show in Tucson, Arizona, mm. the next day is Reno, and the next day is uh, Pachanga in Temecula. Isn't that a Spanish word for pussy? It is. But not only am I doing those shows this weekend, but on Friday, September, what is it? No, June 9th. All my fall dates go on, on sale. Wow. My second leg of the No Teeth, No Entry Tour go on sale. Wow. It's a lot. Ah. I'm coming to Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln. Oklahoma City. Oh. Springfield, Missouri. Oh. Oakland, California. Okay. Denver, Colorado. Malver. Albany, New York. Reading, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Portland, Maine. Ooh. Toronto, Ontario, Trump. Canada. Oh. Ann Arbor, Indianapolis, Cleveland, St. Louis, Fargo, Albuquerque, San Antonio, Austin, Port Chester, New York, New York, Buffalo, Riverside, Big Show in Los Angeles, and Fartnix, Arizona. Wow. All those are on sale this Friday, June 9th. Go to TomSegura.com, click on the tour page. And get your tickets. <laughs> that's it, Gene. That's a lot of, of tours. It's a lot. And then your Momstralia, that's... I got Momstralia. I oh, got your mom's house live. Let's not forget ones. to plug those two dates. Yeah, there's... Uh, there's August 23rd is in Breast Balls Beach, Florida at the Palm Beach Improv. But we have one in July, right? Let me. I'm looking it up right now. We have a July one I in love when our Sperm so. Vine... Ju July 9th, Irvine July. Improv, and then August 23rd at West Palm Beach. Yeah, that should be really fun. A lot of fun. I can't wait to do those. That'll be good. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. July 9th. There you go. <laughs> Tom, I learned how to do boomerang this morning. Yeah, it's cool. It's about six months after I did. Um, <laughs> I like how you didn't even... You know what? I got on this thing called Friendster. It was really oh, cool. Yeah. And I forgot to... Uh... For you, I had something set up. Great. For your, uh, Can't no, wait. For your tour. Mm -hmm. Do you like big tits? <laughs> Go see Christina do a stand up. Now we're talking. <laughs> wow, thank yeah. you. You like that? Do you like big tits? That's, for my, that's, that's for really you. neat. Thank you. Do you like big tits? <laughs> Go see Christina do a stand up. <laughs> now we're talking. By the way, this is one uh, of my favorite things we didn't get to last week. We had my parents on, Top Dog and, oh and Charo. My God. And at a certain point, you know, it went on long enough. But there was one point afterwards where I was trying to show them non-binary things <laughs> just to get their reaction on it. I looked it up. So it's 41 minutes in that we've been sitting here. My dad was there. My mom was here. I'm here. We have, I'm playing clips. And it's, <laughs> that the, it's the first time where my dad goes, I don't hear anything. <laughs> and... This is when we discover that for 41 minutes, no. he didn't have headphones plugged what in. What is wrong But with never him? said anything. Get your life. So they life. were on his ear, and we're having this conversation. Get your life. And he just never mentioned. Get your life. It's so Definitions weird. here, because people will hear the term non-binary and not right. know what that means. And in mm -hmm. fact, some people will hear mm -hmm. uh, non-binary and say, well, why not trans no, man or trans woman? How yes. do you answer those two <laughs> questions? You don't hear anything? No. What do you mean you don't hear anything? <laughs> You didn't hear any of that? No. Did you hear that, Mom? Yes. I didn't hear a word. You didn't hear a word? No, not a word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you hear me in the microphone right now? No. You don't hear me right now? Mm-mm. <laughs> you haven't heard anything this whole time? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, you pulled your headphone out. Oh, where does it go? In here. Wait, you didn't oh, pull I it I never out. had it in there. The whole time? No. <laughs> yeah, he did. When he was laughing with a blonde, Yeah. I see he... Do you remember he laid back and he put it out? Okay, can you hear me now? No, yeah, I never had it on, actually. <laughs> this whole time, no. <laughs> no. I didn't, actually. Wait, okay. <laughs> All right, why don't you play these, uh, okay. This ought to be good. Here, I, I want so to begin he, with perhaps he some never basic definitions. Ever. <laughs> He didn't even hear what the fuck you were it, saying. So like right now, time. he just heard like muted sound because <laughs> he put headphones on. 
but had nothing plugged in. But didn't. Wow, that's amazing. And never was like, oh, I don't but hear that, anything through my headphones. But apropos our discussion earlier of like, well, I guess it's just not. That's how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's also exactly like who he is, which is yeah. like, I don't really need to hear you. <laughs> 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 right. As long it's as I can exciting. hear my own thoughts, yeah. I don't really care. Yeah. And then this was great. This is when I um so I got Char to say that and then I was I was trying to get Top Dog to say I, I wrote I had this joke, an improv joke in if you ever saw the People's Mayor, which is on my YouTube page where it's kinda like this parody of Rob Ford, the old Toronto mayor that I made a couple of years ago with some really talented people, you know, we would improvise lines. And I had one where I'm playing that guy and I go, hey, how come How come if you think you're going to fart and you shit, there's a name for that? Or what about when you think you're going to shit and you fart? There's no name for that. So I try to get Top Dog to say it. This is what it's like to try to get him to, to say, uh, here we go, hold on. Let's see that. So, you know, that's the only, I know there's been another song made for you, but I don't see where it is. That's okay. Um, so will you say for me, though, uh, do you like big tits? <laughs> Just say, do you like big tits? Go see Christina. He goes, she goes, aww. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Do you like big tits? Go see Christina. Let's do <laughs> the same thing, but aww. go see Christina do stand-up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you like big tits? <laughs> Go see Christina do a stand up. Now we're talking. There you go. Uh, yeah. Now we're trying to get topped off. And you phone. say, <laughs> Oh no. How come sometimes you think you're going to fart and you shit? And there's a name for that. <laughs> what about when you think you're going to shit and you only fart? What's that called? <laughs> How come when when you you think you're going to fart and and you shit, shit, there's a name for that. But when you think you're going to shit and you only fart, what's that called? Do you think that that's pretty, like, you think you could spit that out right now if I... Okay, how come when when you fart but shit, there's a name for that, but how come when you shit and you don't fart, there's nothing for that? So you struggled too. I can't repeat lines. That's why I don't act. Okay, because the funny thing is, I thought it was pretty easy to repeat. Not for, I wouldn't know. He really <laughs> struggles. <laughs> but my mom memorized it immediately. I'd have to read it because yeah. I can't repeat things back. If you yeah. had it written down, I could memorize it. I have to <laughs> so see how it. come when you <laughs> fart and you shit? <laughs> There's a name for that. No, no, no. When you think you're going to fart and you shit. <laughs> how come when you think you're going <laughs> to fart and you shit? There's a name for that. But then you shit and you think. No, no, no. But when you think you're going to shit. When no, you, you're so you disappointed. Fart, when you think you're going to shit, and then you fart, what's that called? Yeah. Can you do it all together, though? I'm not sure. I, I, really? I, I, I'm going to do it, yeah. <laughs> She's okay. She's an actor. She's great. That doesn't understand this. Yeah. He says, how come when he thinks he's going to fart, but he shit, there is a name for that. And then he's wondering, he keeps asking me all the time, how come when he thinks he's going to shit but don't start? <laughs> there's no name for that. Perfect. Perfect. Is she oh, even... Great. You can do that, right? How come <laughs> when I'm going to fart and I shit, <laughs> there's a name for that. But what's it called when you think you're going to shit and you only fart? That's what's good. that called? That's it. You got it. Perfect. That was really good. That's it. And you can do it. That's how I that would was do it. That was good, Dad. That was, that was perfect. What is that called? That's the thing. So when you think you're going to sh- fart and you <laughs> shit, it's called a shart. You know? I didn't know there was a name for that. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, you go, oh, and then you're like, uh-oh, I, I shit. But what about, you go, oh, I have to take a shit, and you only fart. There's no name for that. There really isn't. There should be, though. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think we can capitalize on that. I think yes. our audience should weigh in on this. It's a great idea. What are we going to call it? What are we going to call that? Okay, so when you, you think you're going to shit, but you only fart, what is that called? I mean, called? just to, okay, just so to lay it out, yeah, when you way. think you're going <laughs> to fart and you shit, it's called a shart. shart. Everybody right. knows that, right? So Everybody you're like, oh, you feel confidence that. to fart? Uh-oh, it shit. comes out. But what about when you're like, I got to take a shit. Right. And you just sit down and you fart. Right. It's only a disappointment. Yeah, but there should be a name for that. I know, I know. Okay, let's see. It's not called a dump. It's called a... 
It's like a a hump or a a, slump a wisp or a, or a slump. Wisp or yeah. A woof. Yeah. Or a poof. <laughs> mm. It's not a shit, but a flip. Oh, I fumped. A flip. What about a thump? A thump. A thump is like a fart that was a dump. instead of a dump. Right. <laughs> I thumped. There you go. It's a thump. It's a thump. I thumped. I farted when I should have dumped. Yeah. I thumped. God, I we're think so we got smart. it. Do you think how excited is my like dad? How, somebody comes back to the bat from the bat. How was it? I thumped. Yeah, yeah. How excited do you think my dad is when he pay like a hundred thousand dollars for my education, <laughs> and we just came up with thump? Well, if you if you send him some of the responses in these emails, I think he'll be very <laughs> proud of you. Yeah, but dad, look at all these thump responses we got. Yeah, look at all this. <laughs> thumped and. Uh, <sighs> Fump is good. It's I only like, fumped. Because a fump sounds like a disappointment. It's a want, want word. Yeah. Like it's a disappointment to it's fump. fump. Yeah. I, f- I wanted a dump, but I farted. I fumped. Yeah. No, I think that, that works. Really good work, What's Tom. the expression? I'm okay. It was only a fump. Yeah. Right? Or could have been better. But it was just a fump. It was just a fump. Yeah. No, you know what that is? I was hoping no. for more, but I fumped. It's just a fart. That's why, because you're saying I went to shit, but I just farted. Then all you did was fart. You didn't create anything new with a shart. You're creating a new entity, correct? It's a fart with shit in it. But, but it's a fart that had expectations. So it's not just a fart. I mean, a fart's all that came out of you, but it's tied to a bigger idea. That's so my you're point. saying we've created a third idea being the failed The dump. failed dump. Yeah. So it's a fart that failed in its mission to push out the shit because as my mother used to say, farts push the shit out. Right. So when it fails, it's a failure fart, in other yeah. words. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's deep, bro. That's deep, dog. <laughs> we got to put this on the other show. Damn. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. Well, let's take some submissions, guys. Write us and let us know your mom's podcast at gmail.com yeah. what the word is for when you. No house. It's your mom's podcast. Right. We couldn't get that one years uh, ago. Speaking of farts, <laughs> what's up, mommies? Here's an email. I recently had a shower time conversation with my beloved wife regarding a very special type of fart <laughs> only experienced in shower time situations. <laughs> I will tell you, after I told my wife I did this, she gave me the look like I crossed the line. (laughs) I guess I can only describe it as fart gargling, and it's really special. (laughs) Sometimes when I need to fart while showering, I I gently cut my hand over my ass crack, (laughs) holding water in a cup-like fashion before letting loose the trumpets. (laughs) This results in a gargle-like situation that is really neat. (laughs) Upon telling my wife about this, because I have never done it in front of her, she said, I must be the only one on earth that does such a thing. I can't be the only <laughs> one. Please consult the mommies of the world. I hope you Zimzers keep it high and tight with your jeans in the clouds. PK. I'll tell you this. I've never done that, <laughs> never done but that. I find it fascinating. And I'm willing to bet there's a lot of listeners that either do that, a version of that, of or have their own unique fart kind of, of situation you know of course now didn't you do a thing where you played the trumpet where you manipulated your butt cheeks and then made it made different sounds oh i really like doing that i really i really, I really like that i like to <laughs> move my leg and also play with my butt cheeks yeah because the pitch will change right or you can even do it by squatting because you know your cheeks will move as you as you move. So if you have to about to fart and you just do a half squat, yeah, you'll hear it. You'll hear the pitch Can, change. You know what's really interesting about you is that you're it's really, cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. You're really a risk taker with these farts because personally, I'm afraid to move too much around because what if the brown comes down? Yeah, I I'm just confident. I'm afraid. I'm confident. When's the last time you sharted? Mm, it's been a little while. Year or two, and yeah, I'm a little nervous to do all that fancy stuff now. I don't. I, f- I almost had a bad one. I had this upper respiratory infection a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and I took an antibiotic that, like, is one of the side effects. Like, you might get severe diarrhea, <laughs> but I'm somebody that always, on those side effect things, just never gets. The I, side ignore effects. Yeah, I, I ignore I, them. Yeah, and I, they just, dude, I got a a harsh bout of it, so I, I had know. to quit the antibiotic. Two days later, it was still kind of filtering through me. Yeah. I remember one of my first farts. Yeah. Confident. I went I went for it <laughs> as I was going for it. I go, "Oh, you might have done that too soon." 
and it it still you know it hung in there. It was it interesting, was interesting. But it was it was dicey. You know what I've been having lately? Remember when I first gave birth to Ellis? I couldn't hold in farts. Yeah, it's kind of come back. Yeah, and I don't know why. Yeah, but either that or I'm just not as concerned with who hears the farts anymore. I don't care. Yeah, I've been farting very freely lately, and yeah. it feels great. Yeah, I don't care. Can I tell you something Shauna told me this weekend that was alarming? What? She said that in her world, the double pipe classic is not as rare as we say it is, that she has them like every few months. She doesn't know what she's talking about. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. The double pipe classic is very rare. Right. She's probably thinking of like a one, two, but like an (laughs) equal exit, that's very rare. Well, to get the timing precise on something like that, it's really coincidence. It's really chance. A lot of people can go burp. Fart. Right. Fart, burp. Right. You know, but to have them go, uh, at the same time. Very rare. It's very rare. And especially, you can try to force it. You can that's swallow. That's not the same. And it's not, that's not a true, that's not the nature of a double pipe. Yeah, like you can be like, oh, I got a fart in the chamber. I know I'm about to <laughs> fart. I'm going to swallow some air Right, and that's not that's it. Not the same thing. See, maybe that's what she's doing. Yeah. I feel like she's forcing the issue. I, I Shauna, I wonder. Yeah. If you're not, it's, it has to be organic. That's the whole fun of the double pipe. This is funny that this came in because Blue Band prepped this. Yeah. And he didn't even know what was going to happen today. <laughs> and here's what I mean. Um, can you read that, Gene? It says, hey, Hitlers, after living through the hashtag Tom is fat, Bert is fat era, I've admitted that I, too, am fat. I have been, as Chris Jeanzo would say, making fitness regularly. So, as an act of self-bribery... Oh, 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 oh sorry. Uh-oh, Gene. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what Ellis says now. Uh-oh. Very cute. Okay, as an act of self-bribery and motivation, if I go to the gym and make fitness every day in a month, I am rewarded with a new podcast t-shirt. May was my first month, and I have ordered my brand new Stanima shirt. Mm. I look forward to sweating through it like a monster in seven to ten-ish days. Thanks, mommies, for keeping my humor in the toilet and my spirits high as fuck. Stanima. Shout out to my main jeans, Mike, P.O.P., holding it down. Also, Tina, please come to Philly. I've seen Tommy and Burnt at Helium. I need some East Coast mainest mommy. Love wishing you both fours. Sarah, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> That's very and nice good for you, you Sarah that you're working on your fitness. That's very great. That's maze. We've gotten, people always weigh in. They tell us like, oh, I wish you did this. I wish you did that. With regard to shirts, one of the things we've heard a lot is, I wish you had something for summer and I wish you had something for fitness. Right. And so we paid attention to it and now we have a new fitness shirt. <gasps> it's a summertime kind of fitness shirt in that it <laughs> is a uh, tank top. Um, that is a, a little picture. So I'll see if I can bring up a bigger version of it. But basically, um, it is a tank top. It says I'm making fitness and it has, uh, a, an actual fitness dude making a kicky foot on it. It's kicky footing. We also did a women's version because people sometimes say like, oh, you only have men's. So here Look at is. that. It says, I'm making fitness <laughs> just like an Eastern blocker would say. Yes. Your mom's house underneath it. This guy's kicky footing. I love um, it. So You're making fitness. <laughs> try to make it so that you can wear it to make fitness in. You yep. can wear it to the gym, but you can also wear it uh, because it's about to be hot as fuck outside. And so this one, I wonder why I can't. Oh, I wish they could bigger. see you. You look great. Let me see. Oh, there I am. You're making your fitness, Gene. Here, I, I did it in jeans to uh, <laughs> so you could see how a real communist would work out. In jeans, <laughs> so true. in my tank top, making um, fitness. doing the hex squat deadlift. Um, by the way, super easy to lift that amount of weight for me. Okay. Uh, it's true. I'm just, <laughs> making I'm fitness, making fitness. Making fitness. I'm making fitness. Go to, uh, <laughs> if you go to TomSegura.com. And you click on the store. It'll you know, that's you kind of a German thing. My grandmother used to say uh, making stuff, like when you're not supposed yeah. to, like when you when you make wake ups, yeah. when you're making waking up and you're like, you don't have to make it. And I guess in German, you know, they say you make. Yeah. When I, when I stand up in the morning, like, no, it's just, you get up. Also, do you remember? Aufgestanden. So crazy. Remember last week uh, we played this? 
<laughs> she said, yeah. everyone celebrates getting together with someone oh, and God. becoming married, but there's no milestone in society that celebrates <sighs> escaping something awful no, or returning to your life. own happiness and right. contentment. It's just called living a good life. Right, because some people are... Erica Anderson, who, oh, of Lord. course, lives in Brooklyn, also married herself. I think it's hard not to adopt whatever society's messages are. So, that was last week. Yeah. Well... Hey, mommies. I heard you guys talking about sologamy, and it reminded me of this girl my, yeah. my girlfriend was telling me about. She's a part-time makeup artist. Anytime she and my girl work together, she comes home mentally drained. <laughs> this <laughs> lunatic apparently <laughs> marries herself yearly. No. It's this very expensive retreat she goes on, oh, and her and boy. her sisters marry themselves in some group ceremony. This girl does not have any friends. Of course. And my girl feels bad for her, so she listens to her when she goes on these hour-long rants about how terrible her life is. She's a good-looking girl, but completely batshit crazy. Yeah. There Love the podcast, yeah. Anton. Um, that's why, because she's fucking crazy. Exactly. wants to be with her. Yeah. And that's why you marry yourself. <laughs> Because nobody mom. wants to marry you, because your mom and you are the only two that think you're, you're <laughs> marriage material. Yeah, she and she's bitches and bitches about her life. So that's what he's saying that she's in fucking unhappy twat. Yeah, dude, and, and it's so narcissistic too. To uh, I'm gonna marry myself. Like that's and, and that's to not make the point. especially to make people attend that. You oh, should do that in silence. God. You yeah. should go. Yeah. You should go out in the woods yeah. and be like, "Yeah, this tree married me to myself." Yeah, that's be embarrassed. It. But don't don't have everybody come to that. No, shit. you should be ashamed. And, and have the healthy amount of shame attached yeah, to that. That's yeah. real crazy. I mean, isn't life about giving to other people? Yeah. To your husband, to your wife, to your kids, to your dogs, to your cats, whatever. Yeah. It's about giving, not taking, you fuck. God we damn also, it. last week, it's fucking crazy. Selfish that, yeah, fuck. Don't marry yourself. <laughs> Just keep fucking fucking people till you find the one you yeah. want to marry. Yeah, you know, and the, the, the problem is they don't want to get their lives and they don't want to go to therapy to figure out why they're so miserable. Yeah. And instead they go, but I'm a strong woman. Nobody can handle me. I'm so strong. Like, no, boo-boo. That's an interesting accent. I'm a strong woman. Hmm. Who's why that? Why can't they handle me? There's this, okay, I'll tell you why. There's a girl uh, on Instagram. Yeah. This black girl who I follow and she's always posting that and I like her post, but she's yeah. always complaining that men don't like her because she's so strong. Nah, it's because you're coming yeah. across kind of shitty. You're out of your mind. Yeah. 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 Last week we also discussed, uh, we showed you Shaq's horrendous foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his size 22. God. Demon foot. And... That was fun. Uh, Do you think his wife about, is a triple D slut since he's got well, he's divorced 22 now. feet? So I don't know. He's divorced. But oh. he's out there. He plays the field. He has a good time. He said girlfriends. But it also brought about the discussion that um, maybe Shaq's dong. Yes. There's Because there's been stories, you know. Um, there's been stories that, not that it's like a, you know, a baby dick, just that for being on a giant. Right. Right. It might not be in proportion. There's stories about this, really? Yeah, people, I've heard room, like, I've heard everything from, like, it is really small to, like, uh, I actually got two sports reporters mm. that I know texted me this week, and they said, hey, man, <laughs> I was listening to the podcast, uh, I've seen Shaq naked multiple <gasps> times, no. and it is not small. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're like, no, it's not small at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good, uh, and I, I trust the sports reporter, definitely. Oh, I trust them over sure. anyone, but we did get this email. Um, oh, how funny. This is funny. I'd love to see Shaq's dick. Yeah? I Wouldn't you? I'm so curious Yeah, now. of course. Um, there's a few people I'd like to see their dicks. Oh, there's a lot of people I want to see their dicks. Really? Who do you want to see besides? Most people. Me too. Yeah. I feel like I'd like to see people naked. I, I think I'd like to see their genitals. Yeah, I think, it, I think, I don't know, you kind of, but you know what's funny is that any way that it comes across, you're going to have a... Sp In other words, let's see you see somebody, you're like, I've always wanted to see this person's dick, or naked. Yeah. And they're super confident, and they got a big dick. You're like, you're like you're, you'll tie it, and you'll go, oh, well, that's why he's so confident. But then the same guy could be super confident with a little one, and it's like, I don't know, does if it's little, you go, that's weird, he's confident, but he's not. Like, it still goes one way or the other, sure. right? Like, you don't really... Personality is not an indicator. It's not going to really. I, I think you make it 
you make the assumption that it's the Enya Kettir, but I don't know that it necessarily is. That's my point. Yeah, I hear you. you. Know? I feel like I can tell what a girl's vagina will look like yeah. based on her face and her build. Like I can be like, oh, it's like, it's like a hanging one. Because I can tell you that confidence thing is not necessarily tied to that. To dick size. No. There's uh, some insecure guys with truth, big ones. And, truth. Yeah. Because I've known both ways. Yeah, oh, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not the full spectrum. Let's God, be those big Puerto Rican hogs. Those guys are full of confidence. Jesus. But uh, it's not correlated to confidence. No. You don't think so? No, because I've known guys that had the bit larger and they're totally weak and totally sad, and then I've Jesus. known guys really? with small peeners who are the most delightful, confident, uh, caring, how do you know compassionate. About, how do you know these penises? I've had so, so many, so many, so many. So you had you. You're saying that you've. Been with a guy. I've been with the spectrum. But you've been with guys that had big ones that were not confident. Yes, really. It's actually the least confident of my boyfriends. The one who had the most emotional problems had a pretty girthy one on him. Really. And you would never guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. See, I don't. Th- I don't find that now that I know things. Not that that shocking. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm seeing. I, I don't. I, I, it's not that shocking. Yeah. Well, because there's other things that go into somebody's personality yeah. and, you know, they could have a childhood thing and it's really how you're raised. They I think. could be ridiculed for their girthy penis. I just think there's more than a guy's penile size that determines his emotional, mental personality. Well, here's an email about shacks. Okay. Um, this thing is operating really slow today. I wish we could see people naked. Is there an app where you can like, pr- you can guess what they look like naked? Yeah. Maybe. Pornhub is that where you go. <laughs> Hey, Jeans, I recently heard a story about Shaq and his hog. Someone I know was at a urinal, and none other <laughs> than Shaq Diesel himself walked up and stood next to him, her. Zimzer, please don't he, use the pronoun. He, she couldn't help but look over to witness what he thought was going to be a black iguana hanging there. <laughs> and to his surprise, it was a very average-sized peener. Shaq caught him, her looking and said, crazy, right? Huge, big words. Right, called himself huge, mm. big word with a tiny dick. In other words, sure. he made light of it. An average dick on a monster definitely looks minuscule. Keep him high and tight, and get a and get a hand job from your grandpa on a Ferris wheel, <laughs> and fuck purified water. Love Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. So I think, but I think that's where the rumors that I heard first came from. It's never that his was tiny. Is that he's a legit, gigantic human being with a regular size peener? Maybe it's not even regular. Maybe it's definitely above regular, but that it's on a monster. Right. So he's seven one, and in his retirement weight, he's probably three forty. That's crazy. I mean, that that's a guy that his head yeah. is probably near those lights up there, you know, and his his width is it's he's more than the width of that door frame. So. Somebody like that, you're like, oh my god! I mean, it's, it should look like a, a fucking like one of these pol- posts right here, you know? Right. So that's what I think it comes from. Well, Shaquille, if you're listening, uh, if you could go ahead and send us a picture of your dick, that'd be great. He would show it to you in person, I'm sure. Or just come over and show us your dick. I don't know if he'd do that, but I think if Does you were to live, track him down, does he live in LA. He has an LA residence, but yeah. he, he lives primarily in Florida. Okay, well, just fly over and uh, show us your dick. Well, there you heard it, Jack. <laughs> Hopefully we can see you never know. Dick. Look, many famous people listen to our show. That's true. Shaquille could be listening right now. If I see that thing, I'm going to be like, <gasps> God damn, that nigga nice. That nigga nice. That's what I'm going to say. Gotta set it off. Set it off. In set it off. Um, this I got, oh my God. This I can't help but but just almost weep when I see things like this. Oh, no. And this is where I am the biggest advocate for ending your own life, mm-hmm. is when I see things like this. This is a roll call at some job orientation where you're supposed to (sighs) say your name Uh and you say like what your interests are and you have to do it while you're clapping and singing. Fucking kill me. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I think right then I stand up. This is what white people do. Right then I'd be like. Yeah, I'm quit. (laughs) Even if you were texting me like, 
the baby needs diapers. There's no food at home. Right. I'd be like, well, I gotta find something. <laughs> I'm, gotta gonna go, I'm gonna go rob somebody right now. <laughs> I think this is why we dropped out of the system. It's per, it's exactly meetings like this that a uh, team building things. God, di- clapping at quarterly Let's earnings. See if this, this oh seems my god! To be, yeah, blow my fucking brains out. Or the worst is like it's... somebody wrote, "What would you do <laughs> if you were a in the audience? No, <laughs> if you were forced to do a Shibuya roll call? No, I wouldn't do it." I go to the bathroom and hide. Yeah. I'd be like, I have diarrhea. I can't do the Shibuya roll call. Shibuya. Remember like team building days where they'd make you do like trust falls and all those things I are. I hate that they shit. Do, they love that team thing, man. Fuck off. But it's uh, so demeaning. Can't you just pay me my check and let me go home? I know a couple people that work Stop at it. Whole Foods and it's all about it's their all team. The team. The team leader will be here later. Fuck you. I had that, some question for the guy. He goes, Well, our team leader will be here in a little bit. And I was like, <laughs> Who the fuck's your team leader? Well, he's the general manager. Like, yeah. Okay. It's a fancy word yeah. for general manager. You're not yeah. a team. This is not a fun thing. A team implies fun. Yeah. That we're all going to be a, playing a sport later. Well, that's the that's the psychology of it right. to make you think it's you're fun. having fun, right. and that we're all in this together. And we're all equal. But you There's know, no hierarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There's this little hierarchy where the CEO gets <laughs> stock options, but yeah. But you get minimum wage. It's cool, right? But you're we're a team all part member. Of the team, man. Yeah, we're all part of the team. Holy shit! You get to wear jeans on Friday. Uh, oh, yeah. Bree, Bree and Chelsea yeah. so far. Yeah. Oh, oh my fuck. fuck. My name is Bree. I mean, this guy, I, I feel like I can see him smiling. I don't even know how you're smiling. There's all dudes that are like, oh boy, do I have to really do this? I think they think that it's that they're getting to watch cute girls and they're like, oh, cool, right? And they're like, no, no, you're participating in this now. Oh my God. You're going to do this. My name is Chelsea. Yeah. I like the pirates. Yeah. That's what they're doing. My name is Bree. My name is Bree. Yeah. yeah. This is so embarrassing. Oh, this is Price Waterhouse Cooper. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah, give me a chance. Oh, oh my God, this is a big company. This is terrible. Look at look how depressing it is too. Under these horrible neon lights, you know these depressing office lights. Damn it. God, you know what I mean? Isn't work hard enough for people? Like, isn't it enough that you have to wake up every morning, traffic, uh, sit there, work hard, sit in traffic, go home, do it again five days a week, and then they have to demean you with these fucking meetings and make you sing like a donkey? It is demeaning. It's demeaning. It is. Let these people just do their job and go home. Why do you have to fuck with them? I don't know. Have some respect. My name is Tom. Yeah? Yeah? I got a shit. Yeah? Yeah. I had... (laughs) Shrimp last night. Yeah. yeah. It's going to come out my dick. Yeah. yeah. It's Kabuya. <laughs> Kabuya. My name is Christina. Yeah. Nothing rhymes with Christina. Great job. I got tits. Yeah. Go down to my knees. Yeah. I like to shit. Yeah. I like to sneeze. Yeah. What do you say? It's so dumb. What are you, so you going to share? Like your intimate... I know. Thoughts with people. Like, I like baseball. Yeah, okay. I like to dance. <laughs> Give me a chance. That was so fucking... Fuck me, my ass, man. That's what I would say. <laughs> I like to fart. Yeah, yeah, and smell it, too. Yeah. I cut my farts in the shower. How my name is you? Tom. Yeah. yeah. This is a can. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it once. Yeah. Fuck me, my ass, man. <laughs> and then they just stop clapping and they're like, I'm sorry. They're like, what did you I'm say? like, what? I want you to fuck me in my ass, man. <laughs> and they just end the whole thing and they're like, hey, you got to get out of here. Right? You're fired. You're fired. Yeah. I thought it was my first day. Wait, Shibuya. It's the Shibuya. Shibuya. Dumb shits. Shibuya. Shibuya. What a fucking. I hate stuff like that. Shibuya. It's, it's really. What a idea. fucking nightmare. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's God. funny. It's really slow today. When you I finger it. myself mm. in the shower. Yeah. Yeah. I spread my butt cheeks. I fr- say yeah. You're supposed to say oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with my daughter all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I spread my butt cheeks. Yeah. I wipe it hard. Yeah. I shit on a bidet. Yeah. I push and push. Yeah. Like a tart. Yeah. <laughs> Make a bridge and get over it. My name is Tom. 
I'm fucking... I'm proud to have come out as polyamorous, <laughs> and now I'm excited to share that I'm bisexual. Oh, thank you for and sharing, just, Tall. Just, oh, that would be great if he's like, I'm poly and bi. Yeah. yeah. I'm also... What did he say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm also non-binary. Yeah. yeah. What's your pronoun? You could just ruin... Like, if you had a bunch of people, and they were queued up to say fucked up things, <laughs> you could ruin their whole thing. It would, that would be fantastic. Mm. That'd be the only way to get through this. And corporate oppression. Yeah. My name is Tom. Yeah. yeah. I like fun times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get married. Yeah. To my mom. <laughs> what? I'm going to marry my mom soon. Yeah. My name's Christina. Yeah. I'm not that dumb. Yeah. I drink a lot of cum. F A R T. Good job. <laughs> I'm going on a cum strike. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, Christina. Jesus. I'm going on a cum strike. I think if you did that, if like if you said I'm going on a cum they they wouldn't be able to uh throw you out. They'd have to like respect you know what I mean? You have to respect your pronoun. They have to respect your pronoun and also like if you were like uh yeah, I'm really going on this cum strike, they'd have to go like Jesus Christ. Like we can't fire, we can't fire her because there'd be a lawsuit, you know? Oh yeah. That'd yeah. be fun. I know. Everybody's so fucking My name afraid is of Tom everybody. Tom. Yeah. yeah. I like blue. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more thing. I don't like Jews. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys, why'd you stop clapping? <laughs> Hello? And they're like, um. See, that one they'd fire you for. And then you're like, you're well, definitely. Well, no, they would fire you for the other one. If they're like, my name is Tom. Yeah. I could be bigger. Uh, yep. God damn. I don't like. I, go ahead. I'm not saying it. Why? So that they get remixed in a next week's song. You, you, there's all kind that you have said mm, before. I know, but I can't do that. How come? Because there's too many out there of me saying it. There's mm. too many. No, there's not. Yeah, huh? No, there's not. There's too many. What are you talking about? Mm -mm. Go for it. No, you go, go for, for it. it. No, you go for you it. Go for you it. go for it. You go for it. You go for it. You go for it, Kathy Griffin. You, go for you. it. No way. She yeah. doesn't say that. Go for it. Kathy's too sweet. Happy birthday <laughs> to Nicholas. Happy birthday <laughs> to Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay. I couldn't believe that she was saying that. I, know. I really, in my brain, I was like, it's Nicholas. There's it no is. way anybody can say Thank what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh god! Oh god! That's like the wrong that thing. One. Hey Sorry. Hitler! Hey Hitler! I wonder how Daniacs are doing. I wonder what we gotta look. Uh, we gotta find her. See what she's doing. Da Danny? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Hey um, Hitler! Um, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> Actually, I want I, the place I want to shit is um not on your mouth but around in in your mouth. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> This is what I was looking for here. Let's get oh. That was the original. That yeah, was the is. original depressing corporate. Yeah. Couldn't fun. find this. God, that was terrible. That was crazy. That man. was the worst. <laughs> Sharing the things you like. Oh my God. Yes, I love it. Let's play it. Let's play it. This is the worst. I love it. Work orientation thing ever. Things you like. This is at a big, like, <laughs> corporate retreat. Showing you things you like. Try to get engagement. Jesus. Some photos from my life. My cat, my kids, some bacon. I'm hoping they'll share my stuff. Yeah. And tweet it to the world. If you help me grow my clouds. I promise that I'll share yours. Ready? So connect with me. Let's have some fun. Social. With social media. <laughs> Let's get social. Social. With social media. Good job. Good job, guys. Where we can spread the word and oh grow our reach and find our fans and find a speed. Let's get social. Social. With social media. We're searching for the story. 
a full fucking song. So we shoot a viral video. <laughs> it's the best. And we post it to the gram. The oh gram. God. Nobody calls it that. for the secret of Facebook's holy <laughs> gram. What? We try to keep from taking no that leads to hashtag fail. Oh, my God. So connect with me. Let's have a vibe. Let's show the world how this gets done. That's the guy that wrote it. That guy. The other guy, yeah. Yeah, he takes full credit. Remember in the beginning, he's like, Yeah, I wrote this. Yeah. Yeah. Some more. (laughs) That's my orientation class. (laughs) You guys ready? You guys want to work here? (laughs) Everybody line up. (laughs) Get down, get down. Yeah. It's good, doesn't it? (laughs) Yeah. I feel like this is how Blue Band got hired. Yep. This was his hazing. Oh <laughs> Blue Band has to deal with all this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Enough. <I know. laughs> okay, would you rather be in that room smelling all those smells? Ugh. You don't have to fuck anybody, but yeah. that's your orientation is watching guys fuck each other yeah. and you smell it. Or it's the Shibuya orientation. Oh. Fuck. Now be real. Think about this. So either be in a bukkake room. Yeah. And, and you just you're close. How close are you? You're right in the mix. You're, you're this close to guys fucking and sucking and growing. But you're not participating. No, you don't, have, you don't to. have to. It's an orientation to work. You're going to start working at this company, and this is what they sell. It's yeah. These videos, but they want you to be familiar with the product, so you yeah. got to sit through a, a live filming. Or. Or it's the Shibuya song, and you work at you know this company. Yeah. And you got to fucking do the roll call. Yeah. Uh, here's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely watch that. Any day. Definitely. I would watch guys butt fucking shitting on each other, yeah. smearing the shit on their faces. Over the like, hey, my name is Kaylee and I like a good time. No, fuck that. <laughs> I like the Cubs. Wow, Kaylee, you really dug deep on that Yeah. One. I can't mm. wait for all of us to get to do that. <laughs> They never share anything truly interesting either. No. Like, it's all surface level. Like, I like the color blue. Like, everybody does. Dipshit. So, share one of the... Fun. I know, it's fucking so stupid. One yeah. of the... Uh, <laughs> what do you masturbate to, Kylie? Like, let's hear that. You remember um, we watched the... W- one of the origins of getting Dan Pena into our world was <laughs> finding him on these interviews. <laughs> yeah. And talking about, like, I'm not a cunt. You're a cunt, Brian. Brian. And, yeah, yeah, Brian. And uh, this is why you're fucking poor. You're the like, cunt, Brian. <laughs> so that guy has a show. I think it's called London Real. Yes. And he had on this sexual, um, I don't know, a tantric kind of teacher. Like a guru? Yeah. And so I haven't seen this yet, but there's clips of this guy breaking down. You're very handsome. What's that? You're very handsome. Thank you. You're cute. I think you're very beautiful. I like you. I like you too. Will you marry me? Sure. Maybe we can do Why don't we practice what this guy teaches? <laughs> I have no, I really have no idea what he's talking I about. I hope it's good. And um, so the women practice on the egg. What do the men do? Oh boy. Okay, the men, the first thing, mm-hmm. they have to practicing, that we call sharpening <laughs> their knife. <laughs> I have an idea of what that I is. I think I know. Okay. So the whole key is very simple. You get the oil, we call the, oil? the baby oil. Baby oil. Baby okay. oil. And you put it in. Uh-oh. And now you put the pe- penis, you warm it. In, in, in the cold winter, you warm them up. You get a hot towel. Okay. And you make it a warm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you put it here. Make sure all the blood flow. Okay. Oh, so so far, I like. I, oh no. I like what he's going with so far. He's putting a hot towel on his painter. Which is great. Warm Makes up sense. your dong. Yeah. Warm it. A warm towel, not a hot. Yeah. Burn. Well, okay. You burn your get dick. some blood in there. Now you get the penis out. Yeah. <laughs> you pull the skin. A lot of people they never circumstances. Yeah. Circumstances. So, skin. Yeah. so you pull yeah. the skin and you get the oil in the hand and you rub. Hand go like this. You rub, rub, rub. Rub, especially on the gland penis. Rub them. I'm throwing 50 up. Fifty times, rest. Fifty okay. times. Because you make them strong and not sensitive. Asshole. <laughs> okay, so you're. He said the glands, which is near the tippy top. You know, mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. there, the right below the tippy top. That's your glands, right? Fifty times, one one. Fifty. Time. Uh, right side. Fifty times, left side. Fifty times, front. Fifty times, back. Fifty times, down. I love that he like keeps. Okay. Gesturing. How often am I doing this? You have to do it every day until you can control. Every day. 
I every day. I don't think anybody can rub themselves that much without asshole. But okay, so I'm sharpening I, the knife. That's you're what you call that. The knife. Okay. The knife. All right. If you don't sharpen the knife, that's the number one. Oh boy. Number two, you have to learn how to contracting the prostate gland. Oh Jesus! But how do you learn to contract your prostate gland? <laughs> God damn it! Fucking thing. I have today. a feeling it's going to be gruesome. Um, do you want me to start doing this? <laughs> Why not? I don't think you can control yourself. What? 50, 50, 50. That's like 200 strokes on that thing and nothing happens? No way. No way. It's not Come possible, on. dude. Now, the anus is different thing. Okay? So people cannot separate and they, they, they don't know if they squeal on the anus. They just don't work. because oh, they're they're anus. Anus. So when you contract the prostate gland, because <clears throat> male G-spot is in prostate gland. Right. No. So when you contract the prostate gland in the front, and you feel energy activate here. So you contract, and you feel here activate. Now you do it right. Mm -hmm. Now, would you have sex with this guy? <laughs> no, no, but just because you know he knows so no. much. No, no. No, take away. No. Just listen. Take away that, like, I'm married. Like, just, I'm just saying, there's no uh, marriage vows involved. It's just, like, on a physical level, this guy... <laughs> Is a sex or, guru, and no. you. Wait, but what if you are promised? Listen, one of your friends goes. I was with Kim here, and I. How do you know his name's Kim? I don't. I had an earth-shattering orgasm. Like I came to the point where I was just like I, I, I was screaming. I had a, a my leg kicked through a wall, and I, I wept for an hour. And it was the greatest feeling I've ever had in my life. I can set you up with him. Would you? Here's why I'm going to decline wow. respectfully. Because I can't get over this guy aesthetically. Now, you put him in Ryan Gosling's body? Yeah. Absolutely. But no, but that's the thing, though, is what I'm saying <laughs> is let's say somebody isn't to the eye a 10 and stunning to you, but their, their ability is through the roof. Yeah, but for me, uh, sex is mental. So if I'm not mentally attracted... But physically goes, attracted. But the whole thing I can't is, even get there, dude. He goes, dude. lay here, close your eyes. Uh, cro <laughs> Carosa, your eye. No, he doesn't say it like that. my asshole. He just says, close <laughs> eye. Close eye. Close eye. I got right? You. So you have a little blindfold on. I don't on, like it. And then he's just like. I don't like it. He's just. I don't like it. I can't believe you don't want this. I don't like him. I don't like the vegan vagina guy. I don't like I don't like creepers. He's a creeper, dude. He's a nice guy. And he's not a nice when guy. When men ejaculation, the Ugh, pressure up. of the ejaculation is from the prostate gland contracting. Okay, so I'm exercising that. You muscle. exercise. Uh, and for people who have prostate gland swollen up or problem, this one will solve their problem. Okay, yeah. just that contraction. But you need three hundred times. Three hundred. Three hundred times. These guys are just uh, you know what they're called? Mm. Perverts. I eat the ass and pussy all the time. I got nothing. They're perverts. These are guys who like to jerk their cocks 24-7, <laughs> and he jerks his dick so much that he thinks he's a guru. Like he's an expert on you jacking dicks. You think this is dicks. just a, ja a yes, dick jacker? Yes. All these now, people are just overly horny. Now the question is for me. Would I let this guy <laughs> jack my dick? Yes, Because he's so good at it, and the answer is a resounding yes. <laughs> okay, how about this? Yeah. Let's say it's a woman. We put this guy Let's say it's him. in, but it's, yeah. it's like... An old ass woman. It's yeah. like the would you marry your mom, mom. That's the lady who's got to give you a hand job. Would you marry your mom? Oh, right, right. It's her. If if I'm being told this is the greatest thing ever, sure. Sure. It wouldn't. She wouldn't bother you? No. About rapping? I mean, if I'm looking at her, yeah. But what if she's just like, you lay here, you know, he's, <laughs> and he, co he comes in, he goes, cover eye, close eye. <laughs> close eye. More pressure. Yeah. And he's More. like, yeah, Plush. I don't know if he's. No one has to talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> you like lavender Jesus. oil? What? You like more pressure? Yeah, I think I would. I think so. I think it'd be awesome. You want stretch? What do they do? The those fucking Thai places. You want stretch? <laughs> How much do you hate it when they stretch you at the Thai place? Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> hate it stop stretching me it's the least relaxing thing and they, they also God. forget because sometimes if i go i'll be like hey uh no stretching and they go no stretching no i don't want to be stretched and then <laughs> i can't believe it 30 minutes in there's a like my legs move i go hey hey and they're like oh yeah 
No stretching. <laughs> I hate that. And you know what I also hate? When they crack your knuckles. When they oh, pull yeah. your fucking fingers yeah. out of the joints. Like, yeah. dude, stop, stop. Yeah. That doesn't feel good. I know. Or they pull your toes and everything. Yeah. Knock it off. Asshole. Asshole. And now you do it until uh, you feel orgasm. Okay, I'm going to oh, throw really? up. Yes. Okay. We call orgasm without uh, ejaculation. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you feel, so you see, when you do, when, like when you get Watch it, it's very quick. Two, three times you get it. Oh, boy. You, Look at him laughing. When you squeeze, it's the orgasm coming out. Throw up. How do you even watch this guy? That was awesome. Was so disgusting. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and now you do it until you feel orgasm. Fucking Yoda oh, jerking off. Again. No, okay. no, no, orgasm without oh. ejaculation. <laughs> Please don't make me come. watch. So you feel. So you see, <laughs> when you do, when Please. when you get it, it's very quick. Two, three times you get it. Please. Oh God. Oh my God. You <laughs> blow up. When you oh squeeze, it's the orgasm coming out. So disgusting. He looks like Yoda, doesn't he? And he sounds like Yoda. This guy started to laugh too. He he's like, he's I'm like, watching you come. <laughs> when you squeeze, it's, it's the orgasm coming up. See, I picture, Shibuya! I picture, I picture the two of you yeah. together when he does that. I picture him going, <laughs> and you like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Shabuya. Shabuya. I squeeze my dick. Ugh. You oh, nasty as hell, oh, oh Yoda motherfucker. <laughs> you imagine hearing that sound on top? Yeah. <laughs> That's what Ooh. you hear, Tom, when you're with him, though. That's what you're going to hear. I know. <clears throat> rop, rop. rop. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's like, that's it. Tom, yeah. Rop, rop, rop. <laughs> <laughs> What if he just comes and then you're like, That's what about me? Trick. He's like, no, nah, I'm done. <laughs> He's like, you cream. Especially cream. on the gland penis. I'm going to throw up. Yeah. What if you had to get a massage and he's your massage therapist, but then that's the finale to it. He comes. <laughs> so the finale is he's like, <clears throat> <clears throat> you're like, what's going on? He's like, I'm done. But it's like the best massage in the world. <laughs> Yeah. You just have to watch him come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, seriously. What if, no, really, let's consider it. What right. if he gives a really good massage, but then at the end, he comes like I that. think I'm fine with it. He doesn't come on me, right? <laughs> no, it's that, it's that invisible come that he's That he was about. just doing. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, all right. Because if? if it was the best one ever, <laughs> you would be in such a relaxed state. That he's, you know what, you know what happens in that relaxed state. You, you're cool with more. Like in other words, you're like, you're 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 down with whatever somebody wants to do. So if he's like, now, <laughs> I'm going to come, you'd be like, all right. And he's just like, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. What if it's not a massage? <laughs> but wait, don't wait. Close your eye. I don't want to no, close my eyes. Close eye. your eyes. Close your eyes. No, I no, don't want it. Come on, it. close your eyes. I don't like him. Close your eyes. All right. Right now, you're in <laughs> such a relaxed state. Listen, you're in such a relaxed state. You're you're mm. barely on the brink of like of consciousness. You're 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 like Jello. You and he goes, he goes. This is end of the session. And you go, oh, thank you. And he goes, now I will wait outside the room <laughs> with hot tea. And you go, okay. And then he goes. <laughs> And that's all you hear, and then he just he just came. <laughs> Why don't you like that? It's nice. <laughs> he's so creepy. Okay, what if listen to this? Okay, what if he's a chef, okay. and he makes the most awesome food? It's a personal chef, and he's over at our house, and yeah. he's making you like a, an exotic seven course meal. Okay, but the payment is you have to watch him come like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he stands there. You're done eating. Wait, and so you he finish goes, your dessert. Now you're Bill. And now you're, you're like, Bill. <laughs> oh, okay. And he stands there, and he gets t totally naked, and you watch him do the fifty, 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 <laughs> lingam thing. Yeah. And then he, and the grand finale is he comes on your <laughs> lap. <laughs> Wait, 
Why does he have to come on your lap? That's just part of his thing. That's payment what for dinner. What do you mean? He comes on your thighs? Yes. You've got the dinner <laughs> napkin. You've got the dinner napkin there. <laughs> you finished your meal. Yeah. But at the grand finale, he's like, did you like that meal? You go, yeah. He goes, now I have to. Now the payment is now. And he goes, open your eyes. Watch me come. And then he goes, 50. So it's one, two, three, oh, four, my God. five, yeah. eight. And he does it 50 times, and then he does his anal glands, and then he comes. <laughs> and then he goes, and enjoy your meal. Yeah. That's it? Well, you have to watch it. You have to watch every stroke, every... <laughs> <laughs> How good is the dinner? It's so good. It's a. It's like <laughs> a really Michelin star. 100% watch it. I yeah. would 100%. Wouldn't you? Yeah, that's not a lot to pay for a good meal. But yeah. you're watching that guy <laughs> come. And stroke his dick for, I mean, he, that's 300 <laughs> strokes. It's going to be a while. <laughs> Can I, but here's what I would ask. Can I eat dessert through that? <laughs> and now you do time? it until you feel orgasm. So oh, really? right now, you're, he's like, okay. so good well. dessert. Orgasm without ejaculation. You like? Right. You like? Yeah. So you feel, so you see, when you do, when you keep looking, when you, you just it. had dinner. Okay, okay, time I'm you done. It. I got to pay for dinner. <laughs> yeah. When you squeeze, it's the orgasm coming up. I gotta pay for this meal. So would you do that? Yeah, that's not that much to pay for a really good dinner. Don't I can't. Think? But then I don't understand why you wouldn't let him uh, make love to you. <laughs> what? It's it, you're gonna have a great time. No, I don't like it. I'm very selective of who I let do that to me. Call me time, crazy. One, one, uh, right side. Fifty times right left side. side. Fifty times front. This is your payment. Fifty times back. Fifty times down. It's like a that. lot. It's a lot okay. of rubs. How often am I doing this? You have to do it every day until you can control. Yeah. Wow. Every right. day. So this dude can really fuck, though. Stop it. I'm serious. He can really fuck. He nasty as hell. He's not fucking nobody. He's jerking his dick 300 <laughs> times a day. <laughs> if he were fucking on the regular, he wouldn't be doing this hog stroking. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new favorite Stop. sound. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's so horrible. <laughs> Vegan vagina. I don't know what's worse, the vegan vagina guy or this guy. Uh, I hate them both. No, a vegan vagina guy is way worser. He nasty. All right. All right, we got to go. God, that was so gross. I'm so disappointed. I'm so angry we closed on him. It's hot. We got to go swimming. It is not hot. It's hot outside. Yeah, in here it's freezing. My feet are cold. I'm saying outside. We're going to go swimming now. Okay, I love you. I love Can you. Can we get snooshy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Ugh. What do we have here? This guy is nasty as hell. Um, Big Tits Fart Song by Bizarre Theory. Cool. All right. I like it. Uh, thanks for listening to the show. Please go to your mom's house podcast dot com. My mom's house podcast. Podcast. And uh, for Christina, go to thousandranch dot com. Mm-hmm. And uh, for mine. TomSegura.com. Thanks again. Comcast. Comcast. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Gene. when we were on the way to the country club. Farted loudly. Oh my God, remember when they farted in front of our nanny? Don't do that. To me, it's so
almost no. We all have our, our own fingerprint in the intestines, okay? Immediately go to a doctor. Seriously. How do you like your new bra? You hear my dad breathing? Loudly. I was waiting all my life at 34 C. And I took the B at 70 G. Big sloppers like me. She looked amazing. amazing, amazing. From one big tip monster to another. I am sexy. They're yeah. not flying all over and jumping up and down the way we like. If you Google G boobs, you'll find her. You'll find some G boobs, okay? Is that true? Are, are girth. You want to get into the, the real tits, you got to go to the drop size. <laughs> I have to Google European bra sizes versus American, okay? The bra that's, that's ill-fitting is exciting to him because the tits are falling out of it. He wants them spelling out. Interesting. Can you show me how the tits fart? It's some fart pony. People want, to, people want to know if you can show them how those big tits fart. Yeah, they can be serious. Yeah. Big tits fart. Okay, let's get serious. Fart, fart, fart.